Hey, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Josie. Today we are going to compare Southeast Asia's best, most delicious dessert, the mango sticky rice. We're going to see if expensive really means it's better. We're going to try a cheap, affordable option from the side of the road and then we're going to try a really expensive option for mango sticky rice. Then we're going to get blindfolded and we're going to see if we can actually taste the difference and pick which one's which. Let's go. Two mango sticky rice? Two. Two. One hundred demand. One hundred. One hundred chains. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to pack. <laughs> so we are picking up some mango sticky rice. Uh, it's a uh, fifty baht each. So this will be the other option. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna get two because we're really hungry. <laughs> So you can see that they cut up the mango and the sticky rice is there in this big pot and the obviously mango sticky rice includes mango and sticky rice. She's just preparing the mango now. Hopefully it's nice and juicy and soft. And you said you made that one yourself? You made? Yeah, yes. I That's made. yum. I made everything. You make everything. <laughs> and what is just coconut milk? Coconut and milk. And coconut milk. Suka. Suka. Yum. It's yes, good. Yeah, it's I don't mind. <laughs> So mango sticky rice is by far my favorite dessert since coming to Thailand. It's basically the most popular Southeast Asian dish. I think I think there is. I'm probably a little bit biased, but I absolutely love it. So it is sticky rice, fresh mango, and it's drizzled and drenched in coconut milk topped with these yellow mung beans. So it is a very delicious dessert, let me tell you. It's not readily available in Australia either. You have to like go to a Thai restaurant or something and still then not many of them have it. So I'm excited to try it here again. <laughs> this was 50 baht and I would say the portion size is very, very generous. I'm happy with this. It's basically a whole mango and it does look really, really juicy. She cut up the mango and she prepared it. She basically skinned the outside of the mango off very delicately. It was really nice to watch actually. And then I watched her heat up the coconut milk over a, a pot, um, obviously warming up the coconut milk for us. And she just pulled it out of the pot with like a ladle and popped it into one of these bags for us. So it was quite special actually watching it make made almost fresh. Um, but this is a big, big, I think, portion size for mango sticky rice. So you have this whole mango with a whole, actually, honestly, quite a bit of sticky rice and a whole bunch of coconut milk. So the hardest part about <laughs> the mango sticky rice, or actually getting coffee sometimes, they come in a little bag. And the hardest part of uh, eating or drinking is opening the, <laughs> the little <laughs> bag with an elastic band. <laughs> all right, the moment we've all been waiting for, especially me, because I'm really hungry. It smells so good. That is good. Oh, that mango basically fell apart in my mouth to become one with the rice just then. Like, I've never had anything softer than this mango in my whole life. This is, we've, we've had quite a few mango sticky rices since coming to Thailand. This is the softest. I'm not just saying that. This is the softest mango so far. I'm so impressed. I can't even get over how quickly that melted in my mouth. That is a very nice mango. I forgot to mention, this is actually the good time for mango. This is the ripest, juiciest mango season. I think it's April to June, I think, maybe from memory would be mango season. And we're right smack bang in the middle of that, basically near the end of May. So good time to get your ripe mangoes, but this is really good. I have this a lot for reference. See how it just disappears? You know what? I haven't had that level of like juiciness since the very first one in your Jod Fairs video. Yeah? Pandan leaf. Oh, pandan leaf. Yeah, pandan oh, leaf. yum. Oh, du durian? Durian, yes. Oh, durian. you did durian sticky rice? Yes, durian sticky rice. Oh, I have to come back and have some durian sticky rice maybe. 
Oh, that might be good. Oh, do you, wanna, do you like to lean? Do it. I had it once. It was good. Yeah, it was Smelly. <laughs> 75. Oh, that's smell. Go on, that's... I kind of like the smell now. Oh, look, I think I like it now. <laughs> hey, people it's do. It's like nice. Oh, oh, it's okay. Oh, you try. Okay. <laughs> now we're trying durian. <laughs> Mark is going to try again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Couple drops. Yeah. I like it oh, now. That I smells think. better than the it one we had. It smells better. That's nice. Mm -hmm. It's not for me. So she was saying that she cooks the uh, coconut thing with a pandan leaf, and I saw some in the rice as well. The pandan? Yeah, pandan leaf. Oh, cool. Pandan leaf. Wow. So pandan is like um, a green here. It's like really nice taste that I found in Thailand as well. Oh, this one's for you. Kap kum ka. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. You too. <laughs> Thank you. So honestly, that mango sticky rice was really delicious, and that's honestly going to be really hard to beat. And I will say that if you are in Chiang Mai, this is a must visit for your mango sticky rice. This is a beautiful shop, beautiful people. Definitely give it a visit. She was showing us that Ken Abroad had also been here as well, which is really cool. And we just found it by accident, like by mistake. We looked it up and we thought this was the one to come to, and it looks like it is. So make sure you come along. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are at Chivat Chiva. It is off Soy 7 and it's in the heart of Niman. So Niman is notoriously a little bit more of an expensive area anyway. So let's just see how much more expensive is this mango sticky rice than the other ones on the outskirts of Chiang Mai in the old city. Let's have a look. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice? There is no doubt at all that there is a beautiful space here. It is lined with plants and white and bright and airy, which is my type of aesthetic. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure the mango sticky rice will too. It was more on the expensive side. It was 185 baht. So that's about $5.30 US and about $7.60 in Australian. So let's see if the price matches the quality of the mango. So just before I do try this mango sticky rice, just take a second to like and subscribe to my videos. It tells YouTube that you like my content and it helps me make more for you of it. So win-win for everyone. Plus it's free for you. So make sure you click that subscribe button before we head into our 185 baht mango sticky rice. Thank you so much. Okay, so right off the bat, the presentation on this mango sticky rice obviously is a lot better. It's served on the plate with a whole bunch of components, <laughs> one of which I think is like a mango sauce. Then there's a little bowl of what looks to be sticky rice, maybe with some sliced nuts on top. Then you have a small bowl with a little bit of mango. And then you have this big bowl with what looks to be rice, but not like the other sticky rice, with a couple of bits of mango on top. I don't think the mango has the proportion that the other mango did. So. For proportion wise, you get a lot more mango in the cheaper option from this morning. So let's see if the taste makes up for the lack of the mango, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna take a spoonful of this mound of white stuff that's underneath this mango, cause I'm not sure what it is and it doesn't look like the sticky rice. So let's see what this actually is. Okay, so it kind of has the texture of ice cream, really soft, fluffy ice cream, kind of like snow. Let's taste, let's see what it is. It's like ice cream, it's ice cream. Mmm. Obviously, I don't you don't get this with mango sticky asses from you know the street or anything or stalls, but this is a really interesting texture. So I'm not really sure what this is, but that's a different element for sure. That's a different element. So what's missing, I think, or what's different is that normally with mango sticky rice, the coconut milk would be warm or something, but I'm assuming this ice cream thing is the coconut milk, right? And it's cold. So that's obviously a big difference. It's not warm like normal. You get this mango sort of sauce as well, which I've never had with mango sticky rice either. So I've made my own little plate here. I've put some of the mango in the little plate with the sticky rice. I put some of the mango sauce on it and I put some of this like stuff that's melted from this big ice cream thing, which I'm assuming is the coconut milk, all in one little pot here. So I'm gonna try a piece of the mango, I think first. 
Wow, okay. So that mango doesn't like melt in my mouth. It's not as soft as the mango from this morning, but I will say the taste of the mango is this maybe a little bit better. Like it has a different taste. Obviously mangoes vary from mango to mango, not just place to place. So keep that in mind, but it's not as soft as the one from before. You don't get much in this. You get the little thing of the sticky rice, plus a couple of cubes of mango. There's probably two, four, six, eight, nine cubes of mango, as opposed to like a whole mango or a whole half of the mango from this morning. So there's a lot less in this for your money, besides this big thing. <laughs> I guess they've taken the like elements and just made them a little bit more fancy, which is actually a good thing because what justifies that price difference? Okay, so I've got my little takeaway bag cup of the expensive mango sticky rice. Now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna taste test this and the one from this morning with a blindfold on. So I don't know which one's which and we're gonna see if it's actually worth the price difference without any bias. I don't know which one's which. So let's see if it's worth the extra money. It's an extra 135 baht. It's a lot of money. So let's find out if there's actually a big difference or not. Okay, so we are here and we're going to do a blind taste test of the cheap affordable one versus the very expensive one. Just so I can tell if I actually can taste the difference without knowing which one's which. So let me just take these off because I can't see without them anyway. <laughs> Put this on. So I don't know which one is which, obviously. Michael's just gonna give me some of each one. Okay. Mm. It does taste nice, but the mango isn't as smooshy. Like it's not as soft as the one that I think is from this morning, but it does taste good. It's like, oh, it's, it's not a bad mango sticky rice at all. I think I need the other one to compare. Hold on, give me the. Alright, All right. mango sticky rice number two. Oh. <laughs> so I think, I think that second one was the cheap one, and I think the first one was the expensive one. Is that right? That's correct. I, I think the cheaper one's better. I think that there's a lot going on in that expensive one. Like instead of just having your your normal mung bean on top, it's like shaved almonds. I think the cold ice cream or not having that warm coconut milk, it's just different. Like it doesn't taste, it's not like traditional, you know, mango sticky rice for me. So I will say that this morning's one, which is the more affordable, cheaper one, I think it's better. I think I like it better. And I don't think it's worth paying the extra 135 baht. And I think that you can get an amazing sticky rice from a vendor on the side of the road, no matter where you go in Thailand. So I don't think it's worth spending the extra money. I think stick with the side street vendors, stick with your local mango sticky fruit, mango oh, sticky fruit, <laughs> mango sticky rice vendor and shop local. Because I think that was worth it and absolutely delicious for 50 baht, which is like $2. And she was awesome. And she was awesome. So I think the cheaper one wins here. So there you have it. The cheaper, more affordable mango sticky rice one. Just to show you that you don't need to spend a lot of money in Thailand to get such good quality food. So if you like this video, I know you're gonna like the video where I tried Thai fruits for the first time. It's on the screen right now. So make sure you go check that one out and like and subscribe before you leave. It really helps with my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.